Incredible. Well, there's your girl, your corner coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, giving me thumbs up, thumbs down, and sharing my videos. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I hope you enjoy. I appreciate the love and support, the comments. And all that to the ones that have not subscribed, go and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. Okay, now this is a story time. But before I tell y'all this story time, be careful with telling your kids that Santa is not real. You may not like the outcome. Okay. Um. I had a friend, and I knew her when I was 10. We was good friends and everything, and this was when I lived in Phoenix City, Alabama, and that's where I'm from originally. We were good friends, we were close, and I ended up moving from Alabama to Columbus, Georgia. And I saw her again in the sixth grade. Um, we connected again, we picked up where we left off at, and everything was going well. And, uh, you know, yeah, like I said, everything was going well. And by the seventh grade is when I noticed that there was a change in her. And I was like, what is the, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the change that was in her without actually asking her what happened. But I did not have to wait long for her to tell me what happened. She told me that her mom and dad sat her down and told her that Santa was not real and she no, no longer believes in God. And I'm looking like, wait, 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 what? She was like, yeah, I no longer believe in God. Um, My parents tried to Get, tried to convince me that God was real, but Santa's not real. So, I feel like if Santa's not real, God is not real. They raised her to believe in, you know, Mary and Jesus and all that. And they expected for her to continue to believe in God, but she used the same logic that they used on her. They told her that you cannot see, hear, feel, or touch Santa. And she did the same thing. She said, well, since you can't do all that for Santa, it's the same with God. I cannot hear, see, feel, or touch God. So why should I continue to believe in something that you cannot tangibly touch? Or be around and they got upset with her so they decided to send her to counseling and they basically told the parents that you send her to counseling is not gonna change anything you know she turns your logic on you so go on just take your child on home and just deal with the consequences of you telling your child that Santa was not real and at this point, when I got back in contact with her in the 6th, 7th grade, she was a full-fledged atheist, okay? But, and she was such an atheist, y'all, to the point that if you said, oh my God, she would snap. And she snapped on anybody that said God, Lord, Jesus Christ, or any of those words. If you said God, Lord, Jesus Christ, she snapped on you. So I had to make a conscious effort to make sure I never said God, Lord, Jesus, or Christ around her because I knew how she was and I knew what she was going to do if she heard those words. So... <coughs> Um, by ninth grade, 
she was a full-fledged Wiccan, okay? Well, Wiccan is a religion. Y'all look it up. I don't know what it is. I don't exactly know what it is. But, yeah, y'all. She no longer believed in God. She didn't want no parts of Christianity. She want no parts of spirituality, religion. No. She wanted no parts of it. And I ended up seeing her mother somewhere when I was in the 10th grade. And cause after the 9th grade, I never saw her again. She ended up going <laughs> to another school. So, I didn't know what had happened to her. So, I was I was wondering what happened to her. So, I saw her mother. I think it was in Walmart somewhere. Maybe the mall. I forgot. And I asked her. I said, well, hi, I'm going to say Stacy. She was a black girl, but I'm just saying Stacy. Um, how, now, how is Stacy doing? She said, Stacy's still the same. Uh, worshiping that devil religion. I said, <laughs> I said well, okay. And she told, and the mom told me that she even regrets even telling her daughter that Santa was fake. And I said, and I said well, can I give y'all, can I give you my advice or my opinion? She said, yeah, baby, you can always tell me what you think. I said, I'm going to tell you like this. I said, I found out about Santa when I was 12 on my own. I said, one thing about it, my mom never told me Santa was either fake or real. My mom let me believe what I wanted to believe when it came to Santa. And I was going to be the one to find out about Santa on my own. And I ended up finding out about Santa on my own. She said, I wish me and my husband had a deal that now we are paying the consequences of the decision that we made. And she said, I regret it. My husband doesn't. Um, she said she loves her daughter. Daughter, the, the, the daughter no longer stayed in their house. The dad kicked her out. Um, he The daughter ended up staying with the mom's sister and her husband. And she was free to be her. She made good grades. She was a good student. It was just that fact that she did not believe in God, but she never pushed what she believed on nobody else. She believed what she believed. She practiced whatever she practiced, but she never pushed it off on her family. She never told her family, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. So when they prayed, they prayed before she came to the table. Um, they always prayed before they ate so she gave them five minutes before they, she came to the table because she didn't want to be disrespectful to them and they didn't want to be disrespectful to her but her dad did not want to have anything to do with this girl but the mom she loved her daughter she wanted to make amends with her daughter I don't know if she ever did, you know, but, yeah. You got to be careful of what you say to your kids because there's ramifications for the things that you say to your children. You must be careful. You can believe what you want to believe, but when it comes to your children, please, y'all, please be careful in the information that you give your kids because that information can sometimes be traumatizing and this topic came from um kevin tate zodiac show i'm going to um upload that video 
later on after I edit everything. But um, yeah, y'all, I just think that you should let your kids believe. It it gives them imagination, and it's not about Santa. It's it's not take Santa out of it. It's just help building their imagination that they can dream, you know. And it's the magic behind the idea of Santa. And I think that's the reason why I have a good imagination because I was allowed to believe in Santa, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. You know, kids need an imagination and don't kill your kids' imagination. But if you choose to do this, just be ready for the ramifications of you giving your child this information, this knowledge. You know, but y'all comment down below and tell me what you think. And in the meantime and in between time, make sure you give me those big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice. To be notified if you're an old subscriber, make sure you're not your on, share my videos. Like I always say, God only gives you one life, y'all. Please live it. Bye, y'all.